Hey BZB TV fans, my name is Matt. Today we're going to be talking about a very, very cool plugin with OBS. I know we've talked a little bit about OBS in the past, but we're going to be covering some tri tips, tricks, and other things that you can do with OBS, vMix, and ProPresenter in the coming weeks. So we're going to start with uh, OBS, and specifically we're going to be talking about how you can control RPTZ cameras through OBS. So let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so getting on into this, I am remoted into the office, uh, but first you're going to want to go to obsproject.com and look up some of the uh, plugins. You're going to be looking for PTZ controls. Now, as you can see, uh, this is just kind of the page for the uh, the plugin, and that's one of the greatest things about OBS is that it has a bunch of plugins, but you're just going to go to the download page, go ahead and figure out which one is going to work for your system. We're running off a uh, Windows 64-bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and go up to Windows 64-bit installer. That way it's very simple, very easy. You just grab it, you download it, you pull it up, and it will install for you. You don't have to do anything extra like putting it into a uh, file manually or anything. All right, so now that we have OBS open, it should be pretty straightforward from here on out. It's actually going to be uh, a lot easier than you might think. We're going to go up to the top, we're going to go to docs. Now, underneath docs, you'll see a bunch of different things. We wanna grab PTZ controls. You can go ahead and drag this anywhere on the display. If you want to, you can even uh, dock it. But as you can see, while I'm clicking on that, nothing's happening. So we go down to the settings, uh, go to cameras, and you can add a camera. You're gonna wanna do Visca over TCP. Now, there's a few different ways that you can go and do this. I was originally having trouble, and that's because I missed a very, very vital uh, trick here. You're gonna want to type in the IP address of the camera. So for us, that would be uh, 192.168. Uh, actually forget, so I have to go ahead and pull it up here for you and hit take a look. So here is our web configuration, and you should be able to see the uh, IP address in the top. So 168.0.244. Now here is the crucial step that a lot of guides won't tell you, and uh, something that I missed myself, the TCP port. We need to change this TCP port. Now if you don't change it, what's going to happen is We'll go ahead and bring back up OBS here, and we will select the camera, and as you can see, nothing is going on here. We can't control it. So, the reason why is because the TCP port is not adding up to what the actual TCP port is on the camera. So to do that, we go back into Chrome to open up the uh, page here. For us, it's going to be port Visca. That is going to be the uh, numbers that you want to put in there. So we go down here, and you just type in 1259 into the TCP port. We hit apply, and all of a sudden we are up and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and open up OBS again. So I still have the NDI source camera up. And now when we go ahead and move the camera around, or go to click on moving things around, it will actually do its job. So we're zooming in here, we're panning right, uh, we can pan left, uh, we can also go diagonally. Now. Would I recommend you use this as your main way of controlling the camera? Probably not, but one of the cool things that you can do is as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in on this open box here, and we have presets. So if you right click on that, you can save the preset, and we'll go home. You just double click on the preset as soon as this is done, and once I go ahead and double click on this preset, it will go directly to that preset. So you can have multiples of these, and uh, once you do set them up, you can go ahead and have almost like a little show going on. So you can go preset one, close up, preset two is going to be a, uh, I don't know, an over the shoulder or something along those lines. Hey Nathan, he's just checking out the camera to make sure that everything is going on right. But see, we're going to zoom in here, and I'm going to go ahead and save this as another preset. So now I can go in between those two. So we'll go preset one, to preset two, and then we'll go back home to uh, whatever you want to set home as. And that just about does it for showing off this pro uh, this uh, <laughs> this function of OBS. So really, really powerful thing, really awesome. You can go ahead and uh, check it out if you want, but uh, highly, highly recommend it. So that just about covers everything that uh, I wanted to show regarding that. Of course, you can go a little bit in, more in depth with uh, controlling your cameras through OBS. There's different things you can do in the settings, like controlling uh, pan, tilt, zoom speed. It's a simple slider. It's not too difficult. Um, usually it would be a little bit easier to see, but since I was remoting in, it was a little bit harder, but it'll just be a slider that shows up on the uh, 
the interface there. And that pretty much uh, is all that we're about going to show today on that. Next, we'll be doing a few other things. Like I said, we'll be covering vMix, we'll be covering ProPresenter, and a few other cool things on how to work these software and how to get the best out of your BZB cameras. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.